Hi guys, I will talk about, my name is Santiago Arazo and I will talk about the control of the transport and export of coffee in Colombia. Okay, a little summary of this is these are the minimum laws and specific controls for the international transport of coffee in Colombia. So the main rules are principal, um, you have to pay and uh, like bring all the permissions of a uh, to the Federación Nacional de Cafeteros de Colombia and the DIAN. Okay, the control of the authorities and export locations. So you have to 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 have some permissions uh, depend of the way that you are transporting the coffee. One of those are the maritime way. Uh, those authorized to the following companies. So there is some companies that. Uh, are allowed to transport by the maritime way. Okay, the air through the customs jurisdiction or tax customs of different cities. So um, there is some some case of the the airway that you can transport coffee that are allowed and another not. Uh, the terrestrial way is uh, more usual that um, you can do it by yourself or by a company. Um, okay, the provisions, uh, the onboard provisions for the customs and to take away. You can embark on each trip as onboard supplies only in some cases. Um, okay, the export quality and the transfer of coffee for export. You can transport like in the territory for export in another country uh, only by two ways, like uh, I told before, uh, by like an, a natural person or by a company. If you're a natural person, you have to have some uh, permissions and you have, you have to be the owner of that coffee if you will transport it. Uh, the restricted areas. There is some restricted areas that I will try to uh, tell fast. So basically, there there are some uh, places between the Western Trunk Road uh, in the Pacific Coastal. That is one of them. Another is in all the section of some departments of Colombia, like is Boyacá, and there is some parts of some departments, uh, but like cities because it's, it, there is a lot of people there. And you can like transport coffee by, uh, for different reasons. Okay, the registration of places um, for coffee processing and packaging. You have to register all your, your coffee packaging on and all your uh, stuff if you want to export coffee. Uh, in the uh, in the page of DN and in the page of Federación Nacional de Cafeteros, uh, if you want to to do it, okay. The review of coffee and transit guide. You have to review all the permission and all the guides that the Federación gives you if you want to transport coffee because uh, this is the main a uh, product that is uh, that Colombia is transporting to one other countries. So it's so important. Um, the issue and the validity of the traffic guide. So you have you have some cases that you will that your permissions will deny uh, if you don't have like the 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 basic permissions and uh, like yeah you 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 don't have the the those okay. Uh, so finish it. Uh, finishing uh, the this is this is the the national authorities that are, are the only people that are allowed to ask for your permissions in your uh, stuff to export. Uh, and the coffee inspection and export procedure. The coffee inspection are allowed only by the Federación Nacional de Cafeteros that I was talking before. Uh, so they, they will allow to you to export if only if you export are uh, like pure. So that was all. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it.